When it comes to performance, SSDs are better than traditional mechanical hard disk drives or HDDs. SSD stands for Solid State Drive and it is the best choice for PC users who care more about speed than about storage space. SSDs are now more reliable than HDDs and their storage space has grown, but some users may still have trouble with them. In this video, we'll tell you what to do if your SSD doesn't show up on your Windows computer. If your Windows PC doesn't recognize the SSD, either after installation or while you're using it normally, you can try these things. By the way, please like and share our videos to help those who might have the same issues so that we can help them too. Once you're done, then let's begin. First, restart your computer. A quick reboot would help get rid of temporary or small bugs that have been building up in the system over time. This can be especially helpful if your computer has already been running for a few days. Next, check the connection. Now is the time to check if your problem started after you took apart your system unit or if you think the SSD might not be connected well to the motherboard. Some people with the SSD not showing up in Windows problem also have this issue. First, give the motherboard a quick look to see if something is wrong. Check the connection to make sure that the USB cable for the SSD was put in correctly. Make sure that the cable is properly pushed into the port and plugged in. Make sure the fit is tight and check the cable to make sure it is not broken. If you've already done that and the computer still doesn't see the SSD, try replacing any hardware that is broken or not working. If all of the storage devices, including your SSD, look like they are properly connected and there are no loose connections, you can use the command prompt to double check the status of the SSD. Here's how. Press the Windows key on your keyboard and type in CMD. Right click on command prompt app and select run as administrator. In the command prompt, type in wmic this drive get status and press enter. If you get the message status OK, your SSD must be fine and the operating system is able to see it. Next, use a different drive letter. This problem can happen if something goes wrong with the system, like if your SSD is not given a good drive letter or if there are two drive letters with the same name. This can cause a system conflict that could make Windows not recognize your SSD or the data on it. Here, you need to check the drive letter of your SSD and, if necessary, give it a different drive letter. To change the letter of the drive, open File Explorer. Go to this PC and right-click on it. Select Manage. In the left panel, under the storage section, select Disk Management. Right-click on the SSD partition and click on Change Drive Letter and Paths. Click the Change button. Select the drive letter you want and hit OK. Next, another easy way to fix problems with an SSD is to make sure it is using the right file system that your OS can read. To do that, you need to format your new SSD drive. Since an SSD uses a different technology than an HDD, formatting an SSD is not exactly the same as formatting an HDD. Make sure the quick format box is checked before you format an SSD. If you don't check the box, your computer will do a full format which could shorten the life of an SSD. Open File Explorer. Go to this PC and right-click on it. Select Manage. In the left panel, under the Storage section, select Disk Management. Right-click on the SSD drive that you want to format and select Format. You may also manually define the allocation unit size, file system, and volume label before clicking OK. Check for the SSD not showing up in Windows problem again. Next, check for SSD disk drivers. SSD disk drivers that are out of date or broken could be one reason why your SSD is not showing up in Windows. Make sure you check Device Manager for the latest drivers right now. What you have to do is, right-click the Start button. Click Device Manager. Expand Disk Drives. Right-click the SSD drive and select Update Driver. Click Search automatically for drivers. Reboot your PC and check for the SSD not showing up in Windows problem. That's it. If you think that this video is helpful, we would appreciate it. If you can leave a like or comment, subscribe to our channel or share this video to your friends. This can greatly help in making Google's algorithm can find and recommend this video to others. 